Hello and good morning. It's Phil Thatch and today I'm standing right on my front porch. Heather and I this morning went to uh, the orthopedic doctor to check on the progress of her broken foot and we noticed this moth, this incredible moth uh, on the front porch, but we were in a hurry so I couldn't do anything about it. And we went all the way to the doctor, he looked at her foot, and now we're all the way back home and the moth is still here. So seeing as how it was here, I ran inside and got my Fuji X-T3 and my Tokina 100 millimeter f2.8 macro lens, which I have an adapter, it's a Nikon mount, I have an adapter to put it on the, the Fuji and manually focus. And I made some photographs of this incredible imperial moth. All right, so there is the moth, still sitting on the edge of the front door. That's my doorknob over there to the left of the moth. It's been sitting there for at least an hour. My daughter and I saw it flittering around last night, but it was way too dark to make a photograph, and it's still here this morning. So I've been using this Tokina lens, the 100 millimeter f2.8 macro, and you can see the Velo adapter going to the X-T3. It's a really great lens. Super happy that I kept it even though I replaced it for Nikon use with the 105 f2.8 macro that will autofocus on my Z-series cameras. So the way I've been working on the shots, I'm, I've got the lens stopped all the way down to f22 which is not its minimum aperture but it is pretty small and it should give me a, a pretty good bit of depth of field and on the camera on the camera I'm shooting at the lowest ISO which is 160 and as you can see I have my shutter speed on T and because at f22 some of my shutter speeds are lower than one second which is the lowest you can dial it in on there and then I'll put my smallest focus point on the moth in an area that I think is the best place to have in focus and then I've got this button over here where my thumb is programmed to do a 10x zoom and then I can adjust the manual focus until it looks just right. And then I have a two second timer. Of course, I'm tripoded up for this. I'll do the two seconds and make the shot. That is my strategy for photography on this Imperial Moth. The X-T3 makes an excellent camera for macro photography because it has uh, extremely high resolution for an APS-C camera, 26 or thereabouts megapixels. And uh, you know, it doesn't matter that I'm using a manual focus lens because I would have manual focused at this distance anyway, at least with the subject that is cooperating like this moth still is. I can't believe how long it's been sitting here. I did see it wiggle around a couple of times and uh, you know, my favorite macro photographer, Mike Motes, always mentions go out early and do your photography of, of uh, insects because in the morning they will 
still be cool and they won't move around much. So, and I bet these things are nocturnal because it was really going crazy last night. But this is a, an unusual place for it to choose to spend the day. So I hope you enjoyed the pictures and I hope you enjoyed the process of making them. And I really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this video. If you enjoy the content, give me a thumbs up. I sure would appreciate it. It helps me out quite a bit. And if you want to see some more, hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. And thanks for watching. Have a great day. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye.